take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Fever itself isn't an illness. It's a response to infection, inflammation, or disease. It's a sign that your body is fighting off an illness, but it doesn't necessarily require treatment. Making yourself sweat more isn't likely to help you recover, though it's not necessarily unhealthy. Point two two April 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. Usually, a virus ends up infiltrating all different kinds of cells, which means it's difficult for a virus to totally escape your system without medication and lots of work, from your body, she says. It is unlikely that you can get rid of a virus completely by raising your body temperature and sweating, she says. Point 6 February 2018. Take our lead. You may have heard that it's beneficial to sweat out a cold. While exposure to heated air or exercise may help temporarily relieve symptoms, there's little evidence to suggest that they can help treat a cold. Take our lead. When it's okay to work out with a cold and when you should stay in bed. You're most contagious with the cold virus in the first three days of infection. You can't sweat out a cold, and trying to could make it harder for you to recover. Point two six February 2020. Take our lead. Therefore, sweat is not made up of toxins from your body, and the belief that sweat can cleanse the body is a myth. You cannot sweat toxins out of the body, Dr. Smith says. Toxins such as mercury, alcohol and most drugs are eliminated by your liver, intestines or kidneys. The 8th of March 2019. Make your mark, take our lead. While the weather is not directly responsible for making people sick, the viruses that cause colds may spread more easily in lower temperatures, and exposure to cold and dry air may adversely impact the body's immune system. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.